Hello and welcome my dear friends and happy Friday. This is Deborah, and I thank you all so much for joining me today for this long awaited front door and porch makeover reveal. You have all waited long enough for this and for me to get this project completed. So without further ado, come along with me and I'll show you what I've done. Before we go any further, we have to take a look back at the hated and dated door before the new paint and makeover was done. And you know, my husband said, why don't we just get a new brass kick plate for the door? And I said, uh-uh, where would the fun be in that? And besides, I already had a vision and plan in my mind for it and the makeover began one step at a time. Part of the inspiration for my garden inspired door and porch makeover came from this photo of a wonderful shop in Provo, Utah called Brambles and Blossoms. I absolutely love the vines around the door, but I'm not going to add quite as many as they did here, but I love this look. And what I used for my project was this 18 foot grapevine garland bundle that I purchased at Hobby Lobby for $16.99 and it worked perfectly. I did soak it in water however for 24 hours prior to adding it to my door. It really makes it so much more pliable and easy to work with and all I did to attach this to the door frame was use white cup hooks in strategic places and then covered the hooks with some moss so they sort of disappeared if you will this cherub planter that you're seeing here was a vintage find at a thrift store several years ago for eight dollars and i wanted to use it on my door so i gave it a new look as well with paints waxes and some floral and now here's a look at that old beat up brass kick plate with a fresh base coat of white paint and the French stencil that I had custom made to read through the garden gate. And if any of you would like to know where I purchased my custom French stencil, I had it made on Etsy by Oakland Stencil. She's made several for me and always does a fantastic job. I highly recommend this shop. All right, my dear patient friends, here's a look at the cherub planter and the kick plate all finished. I wanted a very rustic yet refined look and I think that I pretty much achieved that. So now I'm sure you all want to see what it looks like on my front door. So here it is. And just a side note, as you're looking at the left side of my front door, the welcome to our porch sign isn't mine. It belongs to my sweet neighbor Rhonda, whose door is just to the left of mine. Okay, let's chat about the arch and the planter on the wall there on the right. This area received a refresh and I'll show you close-ups in just a moment. Here's what it looked like before. The thrifted fleur-de-lis plaque got a new paint job to coordinate with the front door. And I also made two new topiaries to go in the planter. The bunny sign was from the Dollar Tree and I just added a French stamp to it. What do you all think of the makeover? I wanted to let you know that I purchased the metal arch about five years ago from Hobby Lobby and they don't have this exact one anymore. However, they do have a larger one shown here in this photo in case you're interested. This black metal wall planter and cocoa liner were both purchased at Home Depot last year. I just had to add this wooden white picket fencing to my porch area to further the French cottage garden feel. It was purchased at Lowe's and I have the same fencing in my 
courtyard garden out back and I love it. It's just so charming, isn't it? As we go through the video, you'll notice a few Easter touches here and there with carrot garlands and other things, but you'll have to come back next week to see how I decorate my porch for Easter. It's going to be awesome. You know, you guys, uh, if you notice, I use many things from the Dollar Tree to decorate my porch. Everything from the carrots, the garden gloves and seeds and garden tools to the white mini birdhouses around the door. The purple butterfly and all the purple flowers are also from the Dollar Tree. And this large white church birdhouse was a purchase at Christmas time two years ago from Hobby Lobby. I just pulled all the Christmas decor off of it and scraped off the snow, added a little bit of moss, and there you go. I'm sure many of you will recognize this thrifted mirror that I stenciled a while back. It hung above my kitchen sink for quite a while, but I thought I would add it to my porch and it would be a great addition and add a touch of the unexpected and I just love it. You guys all know how topiary crazy I am and this topiary doormat came from Hobby Lobby recently. As I close out this video, I just want to say how much I appreciate you all spending time with me. It means so much. I hope you enjoyed seeing how my vision came to life and found a little inspiration for freshening up your front door and porch for spring. So be sure to come back next week and see what I'm doing for Easter decorating here on my porch. Until then, you all take care, my lovelies, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.